Hello there. In this tutorial, I'd quickly like to show you how to make use of the Jack Audio Connection Kit for running Machina by Native Instruments in perfect timeline synchronization with a DAW like Bitwig Studio. The Jack Audio Connection Kit is quite impressive piece of free and open source software which makes, makes it possible to set up your own virtual recording studio on your computer. Let me quickly show you the settings I have here. By the way, I am using the QJack Control GUI there the which comes with this package you download for on MacOS, but there's also this tool called Jack Pilot, which I personally I don't like that much. Okay, so I selected Core Audio, which is what you want to have on macOS, and as a dry uh, as a interface, I chose the Complete Audio Six. As you can see here, I have not a whole lot of applications running at the moment. Actually, just my screencasting software, which for some random reasons registers itself as main. And I only connected the microphone to the playback and the screencasting software so that you can hear me. Okay, let's get started. Before version 2.6.5, there already was Jack support built in, actually into the whole general infrastructure, driver infrastructure by Native Instruments. But up until now, it only came with audio support. What was missing was the timeline synchronization, which has been added now. So if you go to audio, you can now select still select Jack as the driver, but now you not only have the option to connect the audio with Jack, but also have two further options, which is first slave-based synchronization, and apart from that, trying um, to register a machine as a time-based master. But let's select the slave synchronization for now and start Bitwig. When Bitwig has finally started up, you can also go to settings to audio and also select Jack as the driver here. But for Bitwig, we select it to be the time based master. Okay. Oh. Let's connect Machina now. First to the output. And to the screencasting software. And also connect Bitwig to the screencasting software. And as you can see, it's already connected to the output. Okay, let's see. As you can see, it's running in perfect synchronization. You can also change the tempo and it changes for the machine. That's cool. But what else can you do with it? Let's suppose you don't like this pattern here too much. So I delete. 
and let's say I found some random drum pattern on the internet and I want to put it in here instead. Unfortunately, Machina does not have any audio track support so far. So what do I do? I can put it into Bitwig. I want to have it between bar f so at the end of bar 5, uh, at the end of bar 4 up until bar 9. Let's do this. Let's select the stretch HD because the standard stretch isn't so nice. Okay. How does this sound like? Okay, I made a mistake. I have to put this here. Not too bad. So the thing is, you can also now create a track in Machina as a standalone and, for example, record a lead vocal here in Bitwig. Well, that's nice. The thing is, you could also or you can also run Machina as a plugin, but in certain circumstances, this tends to be a little cumbersome to handle it because you cannot resize the window and so I think this is quite an interesting alternative to do this like this. Okay, what else can you do? Let's close Bitwig for now and let's start another Machina instance. But this time, we select Machina to be the time base master. The second instance. Let's also connect. Oh no, yeah, this is the second instance. Let's also connect this one. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> I made a mistake. Here is my second instance. The first one was connected already. For some reason, this is a little buggy, this QJack control on Mac OS. I don't have these problems in Linux, but it's still, the audio still works perfectly, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay. So you can run two standalone versions of Machina in synchronization via Jack. That's nice. Unfortunately, um, the time signature synchroniz synchronization is not supported yet. It's supposed to come in a future version of Machina, but at the moment it's, it's not supported. Okay. That was nice. So, where do you get Jack from? I quickly want to run you over this because for some weird reasons at the moment the the binaries for Windows and OS X or Mac OS X it's called now are not on the website, uh, the direct website of Jack, but only on GitHub. There's also some issues on GitHub for this, actually <laughs> more of them, and but you have two options. You can directly go to github.com slash jackaudio slash 
jackaudio.github.com slash releases and you'll find both versions for Windows and uh, Mac OS. Or you can download Radium, which also um, is available for OS X and Windows and which comes with uh, Jack binaries equipped. Okay, so if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. I'd be really happy about that. And uh, moreover, try out Jack. It's pretty awesome. And have fun with it. And have a good time. See you soon. Bye.